Uh, Draymond Green, he's officially surpassed Larry Bird. Yeah, I said it. Draymond Green has officially surpassed Larry Bird. I'm not talking about legacy. I'm talking about straight facts here. Draymond Green has officially passed Larry Bird in three-point makes, which is insane, right? This is just a side note. This is insane. He passed Larry Bird. And this is, I, I bring this up, and I wanted to talk about this because this just goes to show how statistics are not everything and that basketball continues to evolve within time. I tell people all the time, you know, there's only goats of eras. There isn't one goat, the greatest of all time. It's fun. We have the debate. We talk about he's the greatest of all time. But at the end of the day, because the game is going to continue to change and changes every so often, there are only goats in eras. This is literal proof that there's only goats and arrows because if anybody came to me with some BS talking about Draymond is a better shooter than Larry Bird, I think I would lose my mind, bro. <laughs> I think I would lose it because it's just not true. Although the statistics say that, you got to keep in mind this was a completely different ball game that Draymond is playing in compared to what Larry Bird was playing in. They didn't shoot as many threes when Larry Bird was playing the ball game compared to when Draymond Green is. And I look at this same thing when people compare LeBron to MJ. Yeah, LeBron dominated the hell out of his era, but so did Jordan. Kobe dominated the hell out of his era. But so did LeBron. Like, it's different eras of basketball. Compared to comparing Jordan to LeBron, it's all fun and games. But at the end of the day, the game was played completely different back in the 80s and 90s compared to early 2000s and the mid 2010s and all of that. Like, the game was played completely different from what it is now. So down the line, you're going to see a scrub who's, a, who's in the NBA right now playing maybe 11, 12 seasons make more three-pointers than Michael Jordan. You're going to see somebody down the line, maybe even five years from now, 10 years from now, have more points than Michael Jordan because the game is played differently. The NBA can only protect records for so long. They can only protect records and all of these different things by changing the game so often. But as I always say, the game is going to continue to evolve and the game is going to continue to change. So that's just me saying, you know, all of the Kobe's the GOAT, Jordan the GOAT, Brian the GOAT is only GOATs in eras. I've been telling y'all since day one, and I'm going to repeat it until the day I die. There is only GOATs in eras. Kobe will always be my GOAT. Um, but Jordan, to me, if you want to really get specific and say greatest of all time, I'm going to side with Jordan because he was the first to ever do it on the level that he did it and the first to become a global superstar in the game of basketball. And now ever since Michael Jordan, they modeled that same way to market players um, in the sense that they marketed Michael Jordan. So to me, Jordan will always be the GOAT because of the impact he had and what he did on the floor. Nobody ever seen that sort of magic that he was doing. But because the game evolves, LeBron is definitely the GOAT. So <laughs> I'm at a crossroad here. You see, you see where, I, where I, I'm at a dilemma. 